out a bit. Yeah. Mine's gonna catch and then me. I'm gonna be handing out these uh, flint steels. of uh, western red cedar uh, you definitely want the bottom board and the um, spindle to be made out of the same wood and the reason that is is when you have it spinning you want it to dig away at the spindle at the same rate it digs away at the bottom board if you have them digging away at different rates uh, you'll just either drill through your bottom board immediately or your spindle is going to disappear before you even notice it's happening the form is extremely extremely important you want your uh, leg here to be at a 90 degree angle and you want your leg back here to be at a 90 degree angle. Uh, you want to be almost entirely bent over this leg so all your weight is coming down right on top of the spindle. It's really, really important that my arm is totally locked into my leg like this. It's got to be totally straight up and down. The reason I'm locked in here is if my arm's out here, it's really, really unstable and it's going to pop out of the hole. So it's got to be really tight and locked in and downwards pressure is really important. hole drilled pretty sufficiently. Uh, if you're close in, you can see all the dust coming off of this. That is uh, what the eventual coal is going to be made out of. So I'm going to knock all of this dust right on in here. Now we got to carve one of these notches. onto here a little bit so that it can catch easier. 